180. Hi, I'm Daryl Gurney, the 2017 World Grand Prix Champion, and you're listening to Tungsten Topics with Tom Beresford. Hello guys, and welcome to this very special episode of Tungsten Topics with me, Tom Beresford. This episode is dedicated to the talented youngster, Jared Cole, from Hatfield in Hertfordshire. In this episode, I'll be having an in-depth chat with the young star, as well as a few words from officials and people involved in this sport about the 17-year-old's progression in 2017. It has been quite a sensational year for Cole. The majority of the success he's had has been on the JDC's Modus UK Tour, in which he has reached five finals out of the five events which he has attended, which is quite remarkable. Um, he obviously won three of those events. Um, to put things into perspective, Cole in those five events won 85 legs of darts and scored a total of 42,585 points. Following those successes, he has topped the Modus UK Tour Order of Merit as he has gained a PDPA scholarship for the PDC's development tour in 2018. But Cole's success did not end there. Earlier in December, he was crowned the Finder Darts Masters Boys Champion after he completed a 2-0 victory over the young Scott Nathan Gervan in a fantastic game as he averaged around the 86 mark, producing a solid display. It's clear to see that Cole has massive potential. That potential has been recognised by two great companies in Target Darts on Modus Darts Management, who are a huge name when it comes to darts management, as they look after the likes of Michael Van Kerwin, Rim Van Barneveld, Simon Whitlock, another youngster in Luke Humphreys. But before I do chat to Jared, here's what some of the darting world have had to say on his progress. Well, what can I say about um, Jared Cole's 2017? Uh, fantastic year, dominated on the JDC circuit. Obviously, won, winning the Finders Masters must have been a highlight for him. Um, some good runs in the European and World Championships as well. Um, I, was, I, I watched him in 2016. I was very impressed with his, uh, with his progress, not just his, his darting ability, but his, um, just his, his whole attitude towards the game. Uh, he's got great parents around him. And uh, if it's anybody else, I'd, I'd be worried about them perhaps leaving their own hype. But I think um, Jared's a well-grounded kid and I wish him all the best in the future. Many thanks to the JDC chairman, Steve Brown, there for his input on Jared's success. Um, I do have another person coming on the show who'd like to um, share his views on Jared's progress. That is Richard Atchdown, who you all may know is the MC for the Lakeside World Championships and covers a lot of the BDO events, also a spotter in some of the PDC events. Here's what Richard had to say. Jared Cole, the King of the Castle. Well, he's certainly been living up to that nickname in recent months. Selected for the England squad this year, he went to Sweden in the summer and took part in the Europe Cup youth event and walked away with a boys singles title. Valuable experience, I'm sure, for him at that event because there's no other quite like these WDF Cups when you have the pairs and the team events as well as the singles and representing your country. Uh, he went on to pick up the England Classic boys title down in Selsey in September and has been in tremendous form as well on the Junior Darts Corporation circuit, winning three of their events, I think. And I saw him in a brilliant final against Bradley Brooks in Bristol a few weeks ago, uh, both players averaging around 90 over 11 legs of darts. And Jared just missed out on winning that JDC European Open, but it was played at a modus exhibition on a big stage in front of a big crowd. And that must have set him up well, because just a week or so after, he went over to Holland for the Finder Darts Masters, which is a long-established televised Dutch event, and he was one of six excellent youth players selected to take part, and Jared really did look the part on the big stage, I think, winning through a tight group and then defeating Scotland's Nathan Gerdevan, uh, two sets to nil, I think it was, in the final, and an average of over 86. Uh, a big title in front of the TV cameras will do wonders for his confidence, I think, going into 2018. Jared Cole's a good player. He has a great temperament and he's a really nice lad, which is a bonus. He's still 17 years old. He's done what every youth player should do. He plays wherever he can. 
PDO or PDC, Junior Darts Corporation or England Darts. He's doing it all, and that's what you should do. Just play darts. King of the Castle in the future. Why not? Again, a huge thank you to Richard there for his input on Jared's progress this, uh, last year. And then the final person to give his views is someone you may not have heard of. He, um, he's a mentor at the Painting Darts Academy down in Devon. Um, he's called Brian Ivy. He'd like to share his views on Jared's progress. Jared is a real inspiration to young darters everywhere. He's had a fantastic year in 2017. Children inspired to be the next Taylor or Van Gerwen see Jared playing for England, winning competitions with the BDO and the JDC, and now taking his rightful place in the youth development tour, want to be just like him. These youngsters look at Jared and think, I can do that. Why shouldn't I be having this? I want to do this. These youngsters see the likes of Target sponsoring Jared and say, I want that. I want to be a professional dart player. I see the children at my academy no longer saying they want to be just like Taylor, but now looking at youngsters like Humphreys, Rodriguez and Jared and saying that's the path for me. I want to be a professional dart player. It's a job. It's a career. On a personal note, Jared is gracious in victory and defeat, taking time out to talk to the other youth dart players and pass on his experience. Watching games involving Jared, you can see the standard he is at. Not only is his position marksmanship, but also his arithmetic and high shootouts. His knowledge of shootouts and switches is awesome, especially his use of treble 19. This young man is going places. Thank you to Brian there for his um, input on Jared's success in 2017 and hopefully, of course, more in 2018. Now, um, I did manage to grab an exclusive chat with Jared called later this week. Um, here is what we had to say. Jared, firstly, hello and welcome to this special edition of Tungsten Topics. You, of course, recently tasted success at the Finder Darts Masters over in the Netherlands back in December. Just how did that feel for you after after completing that 2-0 win over Nathan Gervan in the final? Yes, participating in the Finder Darts Masters for, by any means, is an incredible opportunity because it's only the top six European youth players that get invited. Um... In my group, I had two very good dart players in Keen Barry and um, Wessel Nijman. Um, after losing my first game to Keen, I needed results to go my way for me to qualify. And luckily, because I won by a bigger scoreline than what uh, the others did when they won their games, I went through on a point leg difference. Um, I played, yeah, no, I played Nathan Gervin in the final and was very happy with my performance. I hit a lot of 180s. Uh, scored rather well and took my chances when I needed to. Um, the opportunity and as a whole was incredible because playing with those sort of players under that sort of sort of pressure, it was crazy. Now then, let's discuss the Junior Darts Corporation, Jared. Just how much has this year on the Modus UK Tour helped you develop as a player? Well, for the last two years, I've participated in the JDC's events around the UK Tour. I've done very well. I have started off last year and I got to, I think, two semi-finals, one final, and I actually won an event. And this year, I went to five of the six events and I made every final and won three of them. Um... Yeah, it's given me the confidence to go further in the game, I think. It's incredible what they've done for the youth of today. Um, to be part of a company like that is just incredible. And to be an ambassador now is, as I say, incredible. Um, I, I think what they're doing is a brilliant thing. And I think it will definitely develop the youth of darts for the generation next to come. 
Now then, five finals out of five appearances on the Modus UK Tour is quite some achievement of, and of course, winning three of them. Only losing out to James Beaton and Keelan Kay in the five events, Jared. You must be delighted with that sort of form. Uh, yes, I was very happy with the way I played in every single event this year. Um, lose The first event, I lost 5-4 to James Beatham in the final, who is a quality player. Um, to be honest, I can't argue. I missed a couple of doubles, and he took out every chance he took. So, fair play to him. He deserved to win it. And Keelan Kay, obviously, another very talented youngster who's coming through now. Um... Yeah, again, 5-4, just down to the final leg, who had the throw, and unfortunately he did. Got the first shot and he took it. Um, the other three finals, I played very well and was very happy to win them. Um, yeah, I mean, it's it's been an incredible year on the UK Tour for me. After, of course, topping that merge ADC Modus UK Tour Order of Merit, and with it gaining a PDPA scholarship for the PDC Unicorn Development Tour, you must be really relishing the opportunity, Jared. The PDPA scholarship that I've earned is incredibly important. It's giving a lot of financial backing to a youngster who's yet proven on the PDC. And so to give somebody like that that opportunity is massive. And that just tells you how good this company is for the younger generation coming through um the fact that they're willing to put that sort of financial backing into a youngster who's getting into the game is incredible of course you have played on the pdc unicorn development tour in the past you did reach a quarter final back in march you must be so confident that you can succeed on the tour and keep progressing as a young player Yes, playing on the PDC Youth Tour was um, quite important for me as it's my first year doing anything towards the PDC and it's given me a lot of confidence and helped me grow as a player. Uh, playing against the top youth players of nowadays, like I played the World Youth Champion, Dimitri van der Berg, and I played very well and still lost, so it gave me an idea of the standard that I need to get to. But uh, yes, I reached the quarterfinal I think on my second tour and yeah no, I played very well to get there and was very happy to get there but it also just sort of showed me that you have to play well to get there and nothing will be given to you. I do understand Jared that you're giving PDC qualifying school a shot over in Wigan in January. Do you go there with any expectations or do you just take every day as it comes? Yes, so I'm going to uh, the PDC Q School in January this year and I'm hoping to do well but I'm not putting any pressure on myself because I know I'm still only young and I've still got plenty of time to get better. Um, even if I don't do well, I'll participate on the Challenge Tour this year which will help me gain a lot of experience on the PDC. But if I do well and I do manage to get a tour card, uh, yeah, it won't come as a complete shock to me by the way that I'm playing but it will also come as a shock the standard that I'll be playing against I think because I know how good all of these players are and to think that I have to play against them at that standard every week will be quite challenging but I certainly think I'm up to the task and will look forward to what happens. After your fantastic year being recognised by two great companies in Target Darts and Modus Sports Management, that must give you great delight, Jared. Of course, Modus look after the likes of Michael Van Gerwen, Simon Whitlock, another young player in Luke Humphreys, and many more. Yes, being recognised by two big companies like that, such as Modus Darts Management and uh, Target Darts, is incredibly important for a young player that's coming through. To have that sort of backing from such a big company at such a young age is huge. Um, it's um, a, well, the standard of players that they have there is insane. Like, obviously, Modus are currently management team for the world number one. Michael Van Gerwen, Simon Whitlock, Robert Thornton, Luke Humphreys, as you say, and another upcoming youngster who's doing very well. And Target obviously look after. 
uh, Phil Taylor, I know he's retiring. Um, Dave Chisnell and um, Adrian Lewis, Raymond Van Barneveld and Rob Cross. Um, to have that sort of backing is huge for a youngster and I think it will only give me more confidence to do well in the future to have that sort of backing. The Junior Darts Corporation is growing all the time, don't you think, Jared? With the Moldish UK Tour being extended to eight events in 2018. Well, nine if you include the um, Grand Final as well. The JDC is growing year by year, and that is very clear to see. Um, Obviously, yeah, six tours last year, eight tours this year. It's becoming a very big company. And it's only going to make the next generation of youth players even better, which is always going to be good for the game um yeah i mean the jdc's worked very hard to get to where it is and it's put a lot of time and effort into it obviously credit goes to steve brown for what he's done in this company and what he's done for the youth of today um yeah no it's a very 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 important company to the upcoming youth of today so and jared i must ask you what persuaded you to take up darts as a hobby and now potentially a career choice were you surrounded by the game or was it just something you were just interested in well darts has been a part of my life since i was a very young child like the ages of two uh it's been part of my life all my life and it's something that i've been brought up to know um i just love playing it and i think I've became very good at it and yeah no it will become a career choice for me um because I enjoy playing it and I'm doing well at it I mean I'm certainly in the right footsteps to go far in the game um yeah no I've been brought up to play darts it's been a part of my family's almost tradition my mum played darts my dad played darts and my brothers have both at least attempted to play darts um yeah no it's um very very big in my family and it's very they were all very proud of me for what i've been doing of course Jared, you did taste success at the england open um earlier this year which kind of kick-started your year it's fair to say what are your memories of that particular win well the england classic was um obviously a video ranking event for us youth players uh, and it helps us get selected towards a england youth spot later in the year um yeah no i It was funny because earlier in the day I had lost out to um, Keelan Kay in the England match play um, live on a YouTube stream. I'm not sure which one it was. So um, it was almost a case of getting a bit of revenge because I beat him, I think, in the quarterfinals of the England uh, England Classic to get to the final uh, after beating other quality players such as Dan Perry, Tavis, Dudney and... Obviously, I played Jack Seymour in the final. Uh, I was struggling to hit doubles, to be fair, for the first couple of legs. And then I got one, and all of a sudden, it just clicked for me. I, yeah, I started hitting 180, started scoring very well, and then doubles started to go in. And, yeah, and I start, turned the game around from 2-0 down to win 3-2. Um, Average 26 in the end, but that could have been a lot higher if it weren't for my doubles. Yeah, I was very happy to win the title. And obviously the points that it helps you get towards your England placement for the following years. Now then, Jared, I'm led to believe you play quite a lot of local darts, local leagues, competitions, tournaments. Does that kind of get you ready for match fitness, get you ready for upcoming JDC and PDC tournaments? Yeah, I'm playing local competitions near enough every week. Um, I've been to a couple recently where I've done really well i won a local competition my way just last weekend um as well as a couple of weekends before winning several men's competitions um yeah no i'm having a lot of success in that department and playing really well and it's just given me more and more confidence to do well uh in q school in january so hopefully i can take that form into q school from these competitions and hopefully do well as we start a new year, Jared, what are your aims for 2018 and in what you could achieve? Well, to start off with, uh, I'm obviously going to Q School 
and hoping to get a tour card. If I don't, then to participate on the challenge tour and hopefully finish sort of mid top table. Um, if I do get a tour card, then same with the uh, PDC Pro Tour to sort of get myself almost asserted in the PDC Tour and hopefully qualify for a couple of events. You never know. <laughs> bit of luck in the draw maybe and uh dodging a few very good players um but yeah no i'm 100 percent capable of doing well this year and there's a lot of um good times ahead of me i'm sure a huge thank you to jared there for taking time to come on this special exclusive episode of tungsten topics and that's it so until next time guys for all the latest darts news check out www.tomdartsjournal.com and I'll see you next time, guys. Hi, I'm Chris Dobie, and you've been listening to Tungsten Topics with Tom Beresford. Thanks.